Now, a key recommendation involving NRI marriages with Indian citizens that has come in from the Law Commission. The panel has sent a report to the government recommending that all marriages of NRIs and foreigners with Indians be registered in India. The reason being given is the rising instances of fraud and abandonment, among other details. My colleague uh, Siddharth joining us with the details that have come in from the Commission. What has the panel recommended in this report, Siddharth? Yeah, so here's the uh, summary and the crux of recommendations. Uh, this is on page number 65 of the Law Commission's report, Prathiba. And I'm just reading the operative ex excerpts here. In light of the aforesaid discussion, the Law Commission recommends that the definition of NRI under the proposed central legislation dealing with all aspects related to NRI marriages should be made comprehensive and all-encompassing. It's also said that the registration of marriages by NRIs or OCIs, OCI are overseas citizens of India, with Indian citizens shall be required to be compulsorily registered. As discussed in the preceding chapters, registration services serves as a valid piece of evidence and at the same time it helps maintain a record in the form of registered marriages. If the marriages are compulsorily registered, then all records pertaining to the spouses would be available with a concerned department, preferably the Minister of Home Affairs. The information regarding the same shall be accessible by the Ministry of External Affairs uh, and available on the online portal. So this recommends that that the registration of marriages on part of NRIs or OCIs with Indian citizens be made mandatory and uh, also recommends a framework uh, for the law uh, to actually put that into effect. Now these recommendations have been passed on to the law ministry. It remains to be seen as to whether or not these suggestions okay. are finally incorporated. Okay, all right. Let's go to legal editor Harish Nair for a legal perspective on that and how that is going to play out because these are recommendations. The report being sent to the government, Harish, how is this uh, going to play out? What what are the steps that are going to follow next? Yes, uh, that's right. Uh, in fact, uh, if uh, this these are very key, very important recommendation put forward by the law commission uh, to the uh, uh, to law ministry and the MEA is implemented, Pratipa, it will save several marriages between uh, the NRI, uh, non-resident Indians, overseas uh, uh, Indians, and uh, the uh, any Indian citizen. Because uh, last year, the MEA and law ministry had asked the law, uh, law commission to undertake a study as to how uh, how these uh, marriages can be saved because there is an increasing case of deception, false assurances, misrepresentation and also abandonment happening when on one side it is a uh, uh, NRI uh, husband or wife or on the, and on the other side it's an uh, Indian citizen. So since such, increase, uh, uh, such uh, cases were on the increase, the law commission was to, uh, was to take a study and today the law commission uh, with significant report put forward suggestions like uh, let uh, the marriages between NRA, uh, NRA and Indian citizen may be made compulsorily registered in India and number two that several uh, uh, amendments be made in the Passport Act also that uh, let the uh, in a proposed NRA marriages will uh, several uh, amendments may be brought uh, brought in to uh, to bring in under its purview all the NRI marriages or, or overseas uh, citizens of India marriages and with uh, the Indian citizens. So uh, the the under the scanner is several marriages uh, between uh, NRIs and Indian citizens going wrong on the on the ground of uh, because of deception, abandonment and false representation. So a very uh, significant report given by the Law Commission. Uh, to the law ministry and, uh, and and the MEA, and if, as I said, the centre accepts these recommendations, uh, the, this can, according to the law commission, save several marriages between the non-resident Indians on the one side and uh, the Indian citizens. Absolutely, Back to you. and the reasons that have been given for the same Harish are the rising instances of fraud and abandonment, among other things. Uh, but this is in line with what the government has been speaking of uh, and the reasons that have been mentioned by the law commission as well.
Yes, that's right, Prima. That is why an in-depth study was undertaken by the uh, Law Commission, uh, following uh, following a reference from the Law Ministry in November uh, last year, saying that several such marriages are going wrong because of uh, several uh, such couples are uh, facing problems. Uh, uh, several spouses are facing problems because of the uh, fraud, uh, cheating, and misrepresentation and abandonment. And something had to be done, and therefore the. Law, uh, the law commission was asked to uh, make an in-depth study as far as the framework of uh, marriages, uh, such marriages are concerned, uh, in which on the one side it is a non-resident Indian and on the other side it is an Indian citizen because several uh, such uh, marriages were falling prey to a complete deception, uh, feeling uh, uh, living at least one, uh, one at least one side unhappy and uh, and in fact uh, broken. So uh, this is uh, this recommendation like uh, compulsory registration of the uh, marriage between uh, uh, NI and Indian uh, Indian uh, citizen be made compulsorily registered in India. Uh, that uh, in fact the law commission feels that that will go a long way in saving such a marriage and also the uh, uh, several amendments uh, suggested in the Passport Act and also in the proposed non-resident Indians marriage bill uh, which is uh, pending in the parliament. Okay. Several uh, amendments have been suggested by the law commission in okay. that bill which which if accepted by the government mm -hmm. uh, as I said can save such marriages. Okay, alright Harish, thank you for joining us with those details.